As a web professional today, you've no doubt heard about responsive design. But if you've tried it yourself, you probably found, like me, that it's not as easy as you thought. So that's where Dreamweaver CS6 comes in, with its fluid grid layouts. The fluid grid layouts allow us to create adaptive designs that respond to the screen or device that the design is being displayed upon. Let's take a look. To create a fluid grid in Dreamweaver CS6, I can either, if I've got my start screen up, just simply click on the fluid grid layout option, or using the file menu, choose new document, where you'll notice we have the fluid grid layout option. Now here we're presented with three screens, one for mobile, tablet, and desktop. And Dreamweaver wants to know how we want our grids set up. We can specify a number of grids. You can see that I have 4, 8, and 12 specified for my mobile, tablet, and desktop. And then I'm going to specify a column width that's going to be consistent across all three of those devices. Finally, we can specify how much of the actual screen the grid is going to take up on the given device. Here you can see in mobile, I have it set to 100. For tablet, 98. And for my desktop, 80. Now once I have specified all of these options, I'll simply click the Create button, where Dreamweaver is going to ask me to name my CSS file. So I'll just call it styles.css and save it into my site. Now, something new in Dreamweaver CS6. You'll notice that I'm, first of all, seeing these grids. And I have three new icons down here at the bottom of the screen representing those breakpoints, the desktop, tablet, and mobile phone size. Now, we'll start with the mobile size, because of course we want to design mobile first. That allows us to concentrate on our content. And you'll notice that I already have a div or a grid already laid out here on the page. I'm going to go ahead and add a new grid by simply using my insert fluid grid layout div tag. Now, Dreamweaver is going to ask me once again for a name, and I'll just click OK. Now you'll notice as I do this a second time, I'm, not only can I give it a name, I also can choose whether or not I want it to start on a new row. We'll just, by default here, just click through a couple of these with new rows so that I can then show you how we begin to move things about. So I have four divs that I've laid out here on the page, the three that I've added and the one that was already there. Now, on my mobile device, maybe I just want all this content to be stacked up vertically as you can see. But on a tablet device where I have more screen real estate, maybe I want to move things around just a bit. So let's go over to the tablet view. In the tablet view, maybe we want to uh, maybe have these things divide themselves up across the page. So I'm simply going to click on one and begin to divide it up. Let's say maybe moving it right about to there. And let's do the same with this second div. Maybe have it be three columns as well. Now, I want it to move up. So you'll notice that Dreamweaver is giving me a move up a row arrow. So I can just click that to move it up so that it now floats right alongside of this other div. Finally, let's do this last one. We'll take it and maybe narrow it down to the two columns that we have room for and move it up like that. One more for our desktop. Here again, we can des design completely differently. Maybe this one, we're going to have things be a little bit wider and perhaps even take this one, move it up alongside. You know what? Let's just go ahead and stretch it on out. So now we have a completely different design for our desktop, for our tablet, and for our mobile view. Now, once you begin working like this, you're going to eventually come to a point where you're going to need to add your HTML content. And I've already done that here uh, on this particular design. So you can see here I have, again, HTML content that I've poured into the actual framework that I was building with those fluid grid layouts. And you can see, for example, here in my, in my tablet view, or excuse me, my phone view, under my designer spotlight area, I've got these two items sitting side by side. Again, I can then go and make the adjustments that I want for my tablet view. Again, moving things around exactly in the same manner that you just saw me doing, even though now these actually have real content in them. Let's go ahead and move that up a row or move it over. You'll notice I'm seeing also the margins that are being set. These margins are being defined here by the individual object's uh, width and being placed here on the page by Dreamweaver. 
Again, all of this is being done in CSS. And in fact, this is the way that we actually built the entire Pluralist site based on that very same grid system. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. So you can see here is my finished design. You can see how it was laid out in the desktop view. In the tablet view, though, it looks completely different. I'll go ahead and turn off this visual aid, the Fluid Grid Layout Guide, so that you can actually see the design. It make, makes it a little bit easier to see things. And you'll notice that here we have our, our desktop view where I had four pictures all aligned here. And we have our tablet view where we've now dropped down to only three. In our mobile view, we have stacked all of our content on top of each other. Of course, this is in Dreamweaver. Let's go look at the browser and actually see that there's a little bit more that happens here as well. As I begin to narrow the page, watch the content begin to move. Even images beginning to resize themselves. When I get down to the tablet size, again, we've dropped down to that three pictures there. And then on down, continuing on down until I get down to that mobile view. Even if I had a much smaller phone, then again, all of the content is going to adapt. And all of this is being done with the new Fluid Grids layout in Dreamweaver CS6.